bit of involvement and that way we have a backup for you on our Facebook lives and maybe next time someone else will be on this side of the camera but for today let's go over some of the new things that we have in the store first of all I want to share with you how excited we are about Bonnie Sullivan's um, Little Lammies uh, flannels these are the nicest quality baby flannel I have seen in forever and so we've started making some projects and Sarah if you can do a close-up on one of these little guys this is an applique lamb and of course I digitized it and um, I don't have the patience anymore to do this kind of work by hand but I digitized it it stitched out beautifully the quilt is gorgeous <clears throat> and it went pretty quick um, we are selling kits of these and we'll have those available right after the first of the year. In the meantime, we have our fat quarter packs. These are normally 103, and with the 20% off, they're about $80. And our little uh, charm packs, which I'm working on another quilt, this Ellie's Pinwheels. Can you see that one? This, saying there's no sound. Uh, this, uh, are you guys not getting sound? Can somebody let me know if there is sound? I don't know. We'll keep talking until somebody tells us there's, I think there's sound. If you don't have sound, it might be on yeah. your end. Are we, we good? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, we always try to make sure we respond when somebody says, I can't hear you. Um, but as long as you're all hearing. So anyway, Ellie's Pinwheels. This is another one, and this is made with the Charm Packs. And um, these little five inch squares are just amazing to work with. So we will have kits for these as well. Although you can just purchase the pattern and the charm pack and the white fabric, which we have in stock. I'm gonna add a gray border around and we're gonna show you on our next Facebook Live, we're gonna show you a trick for how to do these appliques without raw edges. It's really a fun trick that Eleanor Burns came up with years and years ago. But this elephant is big enough that we can do that, um, that applique trick. So we're going to show that to you, too, because we want everybody to really enjoy being able to do this. At any rate, these are available. And if you want one of them, just give us a call or make a note in your Facebook comments, and we will get back to you on that. All right. Our hottest selling items this year are the storage cases. These have been phenomenal. And... I want to share with you that through next Friday, through next Friday, you have to call us because they're not on sale on the website. You have to call us and let us know. We have the Notions cases, which are $10 each. They have two pockets and they are, I don't know, maybe six by eight inches. Uh, they have two slots, not pockets. They don't zipper close, but those are $10 a piece. Now I'll tell you, somebody came in and they bought 10 of these for their grandkids because their grandkids can put all of their electronics in there and I think it's a great way to carry your mouse your USB sticks all of your cords some people have said oh it's not big enough okay great let's step up to the next one which is the scissor case we call it a scissor case but you can certainly use it my husband puts all of his power cords and everything in here because it has a zippered container uh, the notions cases are going for $10. The zipper cases are going for $20. And then under Sarah's arm, we have the larger cases. And these don't have any foams in them, but they've got lots of places for you to put things. And a zippered compartment, you can put, um, uh, we have some people that use these for their guns with a towel. We have some people who use these for their fishing reels, expensive fishing reels. There's all kinds of stuff you can store in there. So we're doing this size with no foams in them for $30. So $10, $20, and $30. My friends in Arizona don't know this yet, but they travel in their motorhome several times during the year. And when the last time they were up in Portland, I went, oh my gosh, you've got power cords and crap everywhere. And they're like, well, we don't know how to contain it. So we are going to send them a couple of these to put all their stuff in when they're traveling. That way it's easier for them to just pick it up and take it inside when they get to wherever it is they're going. So um, we do not have 
the scissor cases in red. I think we're out of those, but we have every other color, blue, green, purple, orange. We do have the notions cases in red, and we do have, uh, we're calling these project boxes. We have these in red. So $10 for the small one, $10 for the small one, $20 for the medium one, $30 for the larger one, and I will put that in the email that we send out to you. Okay, a couple of other things that are hot, hot, hot sellers this year um, include the uh, pointed scissor, I'm sorry, the pointed tweezers, and this particular brand is ours. This is called the Quilting Tool Shed. These are stainless steel with a brushed nickel finish. I have them everywhere because they're so they're so good. They're great for pulling threads out. They're great for pulling uh, jam threads in your um, sewing machine. And ours have a little hole in the end so you can put a ribbon on them. So if you go to a class, they are marked as yours or if you put a ribbon on them and you want to hang them on the front of your sewing machine with a command strip you can do that too likewise the um, tweezers the squeeze tweezers um, are also stainless steel with a brushed nickel finish so those are available and um are those 11.95 mm -hmm. i can't remember oh the squeeze scissors are 13.99 and the stainless tweezers are $11.99. But remember, we have 20% off store-wide, so you really want to check into these as gift ideas. Uh, shipping, uh, we'll have to tell you. Um, it's pretty nominal for those, um, but with the 20% off on everything, there'll be a shipping charge, and we'll let you know what that is before, um, before we ship it off. So just tell us what you want, and we'll get that. Uh, we have commercial shipping rates, so it's way cheaper than anybody else and we're excited about being able to give these to you at a 20 percent discount also want to share with you that we have the wool mats these are 17 by 24 size and this one is 17 by 17 size these are perfect they're not good stocking stuffers because they're a little bit big although you could get a bigger stocking and they'd be just fine that would work but also the mighty steam iron these are this is my favorite combination this is what i use in class this is what i use at my table at home my sewing table and the other thing that i have that is phenomenal are the flannel grid walls the flannel grid walls are two inch square flannel with a finished edge top and bottom they're 54 by 60 and the price of for that size is twenty three thirty less the twenty percent, so it's a really, really great deal. Uh, the one thing we've learned about these flannel grid walls is if you go to a class and you're working on a quilt and you've got it all laid out, but you're not done yet and it's time to go home, you can just put it on your flannel grid wall, roll it up, and when you get home, you just unroll it and you just keep on working. So that is a great um, gift. We also have our thread boxes. We're continuing our thread boxes, buy one, get one free. You can mix and match. We've got the snap top ones. These all stack. I mean, we can stack those as tall as we want. The smaller ones carry 18 of the Aurifil or Glide or Ice accord threads the large ones carry 30 you can mix and match those um, likewise with our clear plastic ones we have 30 spools and we have 80 spool containers you can mix and match those you buy one get one free we finished up our Christmas stocking um, uh, machine quilting project and it is stunning I will tell you that Chris and Sarah did a fabulous job Chris did the quilting Sarah did the design and the coloring and it is a technique that we're going to do some training on this year how to use colored crayons to dress up your projects uh, we have a project in mind and we'll be coming out with that in January the other fun part about this quilt I'm sorry this stocking is that we put crystals on it and boy did that make it shine so uh, adding embellishments onto your projects is not a bad thing and it just looks beautiful okay moving on to a couple of other great stocking stuffers we are running uh, we are running short on the portable lights these are amazing they are battery operated with a power cord to recharge the battery and they fold down into a very small container or very small size with a, a, a flannel bag that goes with it they're wonderful for um, doing close-up work they're great around your machine they're normally $160 125 we are down to two and we will not be restocking these for the holidays uh, for Christmas so make sure that you let us know if you want one of those foldy go portable lights 
they have three or five different light settings, I don't remember, but they do come with a carrying case. They fold down to a very small size, uh, 6,000 LEDK daylight um, lighting, which is really awesome for doing handwork or working on your sewing machine. Two other, three other things that are wonderful. One is the rough it up tape. I'll tell you, I don't know how we ever managed to cut a straight line without the rough it tape on the back side of the ruler or how to quilt a straight line without the rough it tape on the back. We've also learned this year how valuable it is to have this on the top and have something to grip. So you put it on the top of your rulers and you've got a grip for the top of your ruler. So these are normally um, $8.99. With the 20% off, it makes them amazingly affordable. Comes with three rolls so you can share with friends. The Tack It Down tape is paper tape for appliques and for um, just anything that you need to tape down. When you've got patterns that you need to tape down on your light box, um, that kind of thing, these are amazing. So these are also $8.99. You can buy both of them, buy one of each, share with your friends, and get a 20% savings. I am uh, I am really thrilled about the gal, uh, Cheryl, who told us about these phone mounts to put on the front of your sewing machine. I get way more sewing done now that I can have my phone or my tablet on the front of my sewing machine and actually uh, watch a movie, catch up on the news, um, just all kinds of stuff. So I love having uh, these phone mounts on the front. You have enough to do, there are two, um, two of the metal attachments. One can go on your cell phone, one can go on your tablet. It does not, the magnet on this uh, phone mount does not damage or do anything to your sewing machine. So this is a great idea. These are $9.99 or two for $17.99. And remember, we have the 20% off on those as well. Okay, uh, last but not least, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things in the whole world. We have these all over the place. These are actually four inch magnetic parts holders. The automotive industry invented these. We've repurposed them for the quilting world because you can put pins in there and they just don't come off and unless you pull them off. And when I drop um, a handful of pins on the floor, I can just move this around and it picks them up like nobody's business. So we have these for $2.99. They're just so inexpensive. They're $2.99. And if you use your 20% off, that makes them even more affordable. These are great stocking stuffers. I wish they'd repackage them as quilting parts holders, but you know, we get what we get. So those are just some of the things that we have going on. And um, we just really want to invite you to come in. Oh, oh, look at this. Sarah um, is going to stay there for just a second. I told you we were starting to bring in the 108-inch wide backs. And oh my gosh, has that been popular. So we are going to start. We've started pulling in some of these. Um, these from Maywood Studios are soft. They're not that over-dyed um, hard feel that we have seen on many. They've also come up with a suede texture which is awesome. So you'll see these come into the store here. We've already started pulling some of them in as quilters bring projects in for us to do. But having the 108 inch wide backs, these are $21.99 a yard. And it makes a big difference when you can purchase a 108 inch wide backing instead of nine or 10 yards of fabric. So just remember we've got a great 108 inch wide backs. Sarah, would you go over and just show them some of the other ones that we have in stock? So these are just some of the ones that we have in stock. We've got CAFE. This whole group here is CAFE. Then we've got some Patriotic. We have some really wonderful white on white and cream on white. We've got some Happy Flowers. We've got black and white, which is always popular. And then pink and teal and purple. And if you'll notice above, oh, and here's one of the swirl ones. This is such a delicious flavor. Um, but if you'll notice, we have them prepackaged in three and three and a half yard cuts, depending on if you're doing a queen, a discount um, for the prepackaged ones, and then you can do 20% off of that as well. So some of them, for example, the uh, white on whites are $15.99 a yard, and they go up to $21.99 a yard, and then a bit of a discount. So just call us. We're happy to help you. We can get these shipped out to you. All of our threads are on sale, 20% off. Uh, we will be doing some closeouts next week, so you want to watch for that, and we'll have another Facebook Live 
probably Monday or Tuesday. Uh, we are doing inventory right now um, through the end of the year. So of course we're motivated to have all of our products in your sewing room ready for next year. So those are just a couple of ideas and let's do a demo and show you some fun things that you can do for your friends and family. This is a really great hostess gift. So what we're doing is these little boxes and this came to my attention. This is um, something that's been around forever, it seems like. And I'm gonna put the link to the actual um, Seaside, uh, what is it called, Seaside blog. Anyway, the instructions are in there and that's where the idea came from and we certainly wanna give credit to the designer. So I will put that in the notes underneath the YouTube video that we will post and um, let me just show you how easy it is to do these. One of the fun things about this is that it all comes from scraps. So what we did was I have these wonderful fabrics that I didn't know what to do with. And so we cut a 10 inch strip off of the bolt and that gave us four 10 inch squares for the front. And then I said, oh, let's do more. So we went and got red fabric that matches and we got blue fabric that matches and I can actually make eight of these in less than an hour. You would be amazed at how fast these go. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna layer, oh, and you need a larger piece of batting than the 10 inch square. So for example, this 10 inch square, this set of 10 inch squares, I put a, I don't know, 10 and a half inch, whatever I have. Don't ever throw your scrap batting away. I have a bin that just, um, uh, ebbs and flows. It fills up and then it empties out as I get my projects uh, lined up. But don't throw your scrap batting away. And in fact, on one of these, I'm going to show you, even if I have a small scrap, I just sew it together because it's, um, you, you just don't want to ever throw your batting away. It's one more thing that you can collect. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these two pieces of fabric and we're going to put them right sides together, right sides together on top of the bigger piece of batting. And all I did was just pin all four corners and that was the setup. So I did that with eight of them because I wanna get eight of them done at a time. And then you're gonna sew a quarter inch seam all the way around, leaving a three to four inch opening on one side. And when you sew, you want to, maybe you could sew a straighter line than I did, but you for sure want to sew off the end and back tack and cross over your edges. So cross over your seams so that you go all the way to the outside edge. So that's step two. Step three is to go ahead, oh, and here's an example of where I sewed the batting together. And it looks like I might have missed a little tiny spot, but guess what? It's all going to come together when we finish the outside, but I don't throw any scrap batting away. I keep almost all of it. Very seldom do I throw anything away. So now we're going to trim on the other side. We're going to trim away the batting as close as we can to the stitching line, and we're going to clip our corners. Now don't clip your corners past the stitching line or you will have to do it again. So a uh, little hint there. Um, ask me how I know this. Um, you only have to do it once and then you'll never make that mistake again. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn, uh, we're gonna uh, trim all the way around. That's step three. Step four is we're gonna turn this so that you have it on the outside now. So the right sides to the outside. And um, I use, it's not a hot dog stick, it's a corn dog stick. Corn dog stick. It's a corn dog stick. And the reason I like this, some people use um, chopsticks, but the chopsticks aren't blunt, they aren't sharp enough at the end. And skewers are so sharp that they poke through. If you look at the end of this, it is uh, flat. So any orders that you place um, this week off of our Facebook ad, we will send you one of these for free because everybody needs to have one. Um, and then just don't let the dog chew on it because that kind of ruins the it just ruins it. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna poke out your corners, push out your corners, push your corners out, all four corners. And what's nice is because we trimmed the batting back, now you can just tuck these edges in. You don't have to sew them. We're gonna just tuck these edges in. Oops, where's my one that's sewn? Oh, here it is. Uh, we're gonna tuck the edges in and we're gonna start at the top edge. I'm gonna unpin this for just a second, if you don't mind. 
I did it in red. I wouldn't normally do it like this when I quilt, but I wanted you to see the see it. And we're going to quilt with our walking foot. If you don't use a walking foot, um, you can use dual feet if you have that, but you can't do it without anything because it will travel. So what I want you to notice is that we started at one end and I back tacked. And I literally just started going around. And when I got to this side here, let's see, I probably did it. I can't remember how you had I did the other it. side up. Oh, I had the other side up. Okay. But I just literally went around and then I would get to this one and I would turn, 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 turn. And I just quilted to the center. So you can see that I didn't close it off. You can if you want to. It's whatever you want to do. If you want to do diagonal lines, you can do that. This just seems to be a very easy. What did this take me to quilt? Less than five minutes? Yeah, less than five minutes to go around in circles and I wasn't even dizzy. All right, now here's the trick to sewing it together. You fold it in half. You're gonna fold it in half with with the finished edges to the top. It doesn't matter which side is out or which side is in. Um, what matters is that when I picked my fabrics, I picked a print fabric, which I wanted on the outside, and a solid. And the solid just makes it easier to draw the lines that you need to draw. All right, so you're gonna fold it, um, raw, I mean, uh, open edges to the top, fold it at the bottom. And we're gonna mark a triangle that is two inches from the top, I'm sorry, two inches from the bottom, two inches from the fold either direction. You're gonna mark a line on both sides. Everybody see that? Now, I use a friction pen because I know it'll, it'll come out. You can use water soluble if you want, but I like the friction pen. Then I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna fold it the other way. I'm gonna fold it the other way. <laughs> We didn't mark both sides, we just marked one. And on those two sides, I'm going to, so, I'm sorry, I'm gonna mark a line that's two inches from the edge. Now, you can do larger baskets, you can do a 12 inch square, you can do a 14, you can get three 14 inch squares out of a run of fabric, out of, from salvage to salvage. If you go to a bigger size, go up to two and a half inches for your corner so that you get a little bit more height on the side. I'm actually doing one out of a fat quarter, believe it or not. I will mark that one three inches and it will be oblong. It won't be a square, it'll be oblong, but it's perfect for bread. It's like a bread basket. And I'm gonna show you another tr little trick at the end here to make them stand up a little better. We can't do it on the small ones, but I'll show you how to do it on a big one. Okay, so we've marked that on both sides. When you open it up, it has this funky uh, design to it. So. Um, that shouldn't throw you off. You know you're gonna fold it in half and you want to sew from here to here. Now, I'm just gonna pin these because I wanna show you how to open them up when we're done. So I'm just gonna pin this. And what I'm looking for is to match my top corners. I'm making sure that my top corners are nice and tidy. And when I'm done with that, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna sew the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make sure that they're nice and tidy. And as soon as, now, when you sew these, please make sure, please make sure that you back tack, start and finish because the stress on the seams is gonna be at these two intersections and we wanna make sure those don't tear out. So once you've got it sewn, it's gonna look like this. Do you guys remember, what were those things that we used to do? Cootie the, catchers. What were they? Cootie catchers. Cootie catchers. <laughs> we would do the little thing with the, um, in school. Okay, never mind. Um, now we're gonna turn it right side out. Now this one happens to have the solid on the inside and the print on the outside. That's just the way it is gonna turn out. It looks like a flower bowl at this point because we haven't done anything else to it yet. So we're gonna push it down on the inside and then these corners just get folded down like so and it's gonna turn into this really cool little basket. Now, the ones that we had at class uh, or not at class, at um, my quilting group, somebody had put five fat quarters in here. What a fabulous gift idea. You could also put a spool of thread, a pair of scissors. You could make this a little notions basket. If you have friends that crochet or knit, it's a great place to carry all those little 
stitch markers and I call it crapola because that's a very flowery way of saying we have a lot of stuff all the time whenever you're a crafter we have a lot of stuff and I also have a cat and so if I don't have my stuff contained then um, she runs off with it so this is my cat containment container but um, you can put a button on the outside four corners you can uh, stitch down just tack this down um, the on the inside just tack it down a little bit and uh, make it pretty like I said the one that I'm doing with the fat quarter is going to be a bread basket and that's pretty cool so once you if you're gonna make a big one if you really 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 want this to be um, standing up tall and keep those sides straight what you can do I've just pressed this together and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew from this seam right here to this seam with like an eighth of an inch and when you do that what it does is it makes it really really square I won't do it on the smaller ones but I will do it on the bigger fat quarter one that has um, that I'm going to use for a bread basket um, at Christmas and I will include pictures of all of these done and ready to go in the email that we'll send you after lunch today and it will have the YouTube link on where to get the instructions for this. If you have any questions, if you just wanna come in, we're having open sew on Tuesday. This will be our last open sew of the year. So Tuesday from 10 to three is open sew here. If you have any questions, if there's anything we can do to help make your end of the year even better than we expect it to be, please let us know. Our phone number here is 503-658-1600. Just a shout out as well to remember we are still doing quilts for customers, although it's getting tight for uh, getting them done for Christmas. We won't accept any more quilts after this weekend because um, we can't guarantee that we'll get them done for Christmas, but we still, can't, we still have room to do a couple more. And it's a wonderful time of year for you to bring in your sewing machine, your serger, and have Aaron service those for you. Last but not least, we wanna just remind you that the best stocking stuffer of all is the gift that keeps on giving, and that is a gift certificate. Our gift certificates right now are $40, and you get a $50 gift certificate, or spend $80, and you get a $100 gift certificate. Those can be used for anything in the store, except for class fees, and service, and quilting. Those are the three things that we can't include them for, because the teachers all get paid for their classes, the quilter gets paid, but you can use it on anything in the store, including sale items. So if you want to double up on your savings, you can buy a discounted gift certificate now, and then whenever we have a sale, you can use it for the sale price as well. We appreciate all of you being our wonderful customers and friends. We wish you a very Merry Christmas, and if there's anything we can do for you, please give us a call. Thank you.